Santi Satmakere University School of Public Health and Mulago Hospital, with the supervision of Minister of Health, have made a scientific breakthrough in the treatment of sickle cell disease. A team of medical researchers led by Dr. Robert Opoka discovered that hydrocelia, a drug used in the treatment of leukemia, a form of cancer, can as well be used to treat sickle cell disease in a country like Uganda, which is highly endemic with malaria. The hydroxia does not make malaria more frequent or more severe. I think hydroxia can be like, like our ARVs. When ARVs came to Uganda, it changed the face of, of, of HIV. We hope that if we get hydroxyurea, we shall also change the face of the sickle cell clinic and children who have sickle cell in Uganda. We needed to understand, is hydroxyurea safe in our environment? where we also have malaria, okay? And when you use the hydroxyurea, at least for a period of greater than six months with good compliance, you will have the normal round ovoid shape restored and they can easily meander through the small vessels and therefore the patient will be symptom free. The researchers unveil their findings at Hotel Africana in Kampala after two years of intensive study. Hydroxyurea treatment appears to be safe for children with sickle cell living in malaria endemic areas of Africa, okay, without increasing the severity of infection or other adverse events. They found that hydroxyurea increases hemoglobin levels in the body and is very useful in preventing acute pain, commonly called crisis among people with sickle cell disease. Aria, Studies ranked sickle cell disease as one of the most dangerous diseases that kills 80% of the children living with the disease below the age of five. Hydroxyurea gives many of them a chance to go beyond five. About 7% of children born in Uganda every year have sickle cell anemia of traits. 13%, one out of every seven Ugandans carries a trait. Over 6 million Ugandans are carrying a sickle cell trait. The estimate is like 20 to 25,000 babies are born every year. But by five years, 80% are dead. The Minister of Health, Dr. Jane Ruth Cheng, who launched the findings, directed the National Drug Authority to allow the hydrocelia drug to be used in the treatment of sickle cell disease. There is no more negotiation. We, I am directing you to have the drug registered. <laughs> At least let it be registered. Those who can afford it will start to buy as we look for ways of mobilizing resources for those who cannot afford. Make it available. Registration should not take you more than three months. However, the main challenge is that the drug is expensive. Many of the patients cannot afford it. It requires government intervention, similar to the provision of ARVs to the people living with HIV and AIDS. About 6 million Ugandans carrying the sickle cell trait and could transmit a sickle cell gene. Scientists say this is a time bomb for Uganda. It's a big problem. A big problem. So it kills more babies than, than HIV. It's a big problem. Jingo Francis. And